friends let's see what marvell's has on markdowns today Strawberries, kimchi. Right back here, Rose. Bell peppers. Okay, so this is my Safeway flop slash test haul. Um, it was a flop in the sense. We'll get into it. Okay, so they had Crest personalized for 95 cents for me. So I don't know if anyone else got it. 4.2 ounce. Okay, and I also had a 50 cent off any oral care. Uh, I think it was a limit of two maybe. I don't think there was a limit. Okay. So I kept scrolling further in my account and I saw that there was $5 off if you buy any three crests and other different items. And I saw the picture of this toothpaste. I'm like, no way. They can't make it that easy. Okay. So this came out to $2.35. And if I use that, you know, two thirty five because of my my special ninety five cent price. Had I used that five dollar off coupon, it would have given me some overage. I was thinking, so I ended up. I thought I was going to get two dollars and fifteen cents or two dollars and eleven cents in overage. So I thought, well, let me put it towards this. Oranges were on sale. If you add the coupon, the digital coupon, they're normally six ninety nine, I believe. And I'm looking for it. It says eight pounds somewhere here. Um, eight pound bag of navel oranges. And there was a, normally six ninety nine coupon was for three dollars. Or no, coupon was for three ninety nine. Make them three ninety nine. And then I had two dollars, two reward points in my Safeway account. So I could either convert that to buy a couple of different free. Items. I had to choose only one free item, but there was an option. Or I could use the value of that $2 reward and convert it to $2 off of my whole purchase. Or I can uh, stretch it up a dollar and it would take two rewards point would take off $3 off any produce purchase. Well, I was intending to get these for 99 cents and flop, flip flop me. I forgot to load the rewards point. So it didn't come up. And so I thought I'd have like a little extra overage. So I got some of these. And then this, I try to do a test on this one. You buy this, you get $350 off if you buy some Perrier multi packs. 
So the reason why I had done that without buying the Perrier because a couple of weeks ago I purchased a Lean Cuisine bowl. It was three fifty or three twenty five off if you purchase one bowl and you get a multi pack water, which they were out of the water. I looked high and low for the water. There was no water. So I thought, okay, well, I'm still going to get a rebate for the Lean Cuisine. So I still bought it. But lo and behold, they only charged me 25 cents for it because that coupon came out. So I thought, well, let me test this to see if it'll work for this one here. And uh, no, it didn't work. So I paid uh, $3.67 for that. So that was a tester slash flop. And then because, and so this is what I rung up here. And then I went to the car and I was focusing, looking like, what happened? How come it didn't work out? And so I looked at that Colgate or the Crest coupon really thoroughly this time after I did read it. It said it excluded 4.2 ounce toothpaste. So that wouldn't have worked. So that, well... I still got these for 79 cents a pop, so that's not too bad. So then I still have my $3 off reward, so I thought I'm here. Let me go back in and get something. So I ended up getting this five pound bag for $2.95 of some potatoes, because we were definitely out of potatoes. So yeah, there's my flop. All right, so moving on, uh, I went to Marvell's and I went to the clearance, Safeway didn't have a good clearance. Nothing was on clearance. I didn't even bother going to the dairy, the dairy section. Okay, so I went to Marvell's and O'Brien's, and let me get this situated. So this is what I purchased at um, Marvell's. Marvell's, it was really, it was just slim pickings at Marvell's, and I didn't want to get the cherry tomatoes again and stuff, so I picked up bell peppers I figure 49 cents for a two is pretty good for a red because these are I think these are $2.99 at normally these are $2.99 each I think and then they had garlic cheese bread and I thought hey I could do something with this 99 cents and it doesn't expire for another couple of days and then I decided to pick up these apples and I'm going to dehydrate some and I'm gonna have some other idea for these. And then moving on to O'Brien's. Slim pickings at O'Brien's again. I didn't want any yogurt. And this one here is doesn't expire till the fifth. So I got it for this is over two dollars normally. So I, I love broccoli slaw. So got that for a dollar twenty-nine. And I also picked up this bag of spinach. Looks good still. Look at that. Spinach looks good. And then they had this expired today, but it looks really good, mozzarella. It was marked down to 99 cents. Bac Bac Bacancini, I guess it's called, little mouthful. Bocancini. All right, friends, so this is my haul for O'Brien's. Markdowns Food Rescue. This is O'Brien's here, and this is Marvell's, and this is my flop, semi flop of um, Safeway shopping haul. So I'll see you later regarding what I make with these uh, Markdown meals. About this flop of mine is I discovered these little tiny chickens. They're from Texas again. 414 and then I only paid um, 277 for it but look at the size this is like the normal size chickens should be Texas broilers inspected by the US and country of origin is USA but they're not those big huge foster farm ones that you see that are like bulked up and they look like the incredible Hulk these are like little small, to me it looks like normal, look at, look at the drumstick, how long it is. These are like normal little chickens to me. So I guess my time at Safeway wasn't a bad flop after all because I might be picking up these chickens 